It's my privilege to welcome you to this marriage celebration where we delight in watching man and woman cleave together as husband and wife. We are gathered here to most importantly worship the Lord, but to also witness the marriage of Benjamin Collins and Grayson Hux. We pray that in this marriage, Ben and Grayson glorify the Lord more together than they ever would apart. Couldn't help it if I tried. truly made you for me. You complete me and make me a better person. You provide strength when I'm weak and flawed, and you are always there when I need you the most. I'm thankful God blessed me with you. I was happy to wait for you, but I vow, Grayson, to kiss and to love you even when you don't want me to. <laughs> I vow to always leave you with a kiss and something to think about me while I'm gone. Maybe a pair of shoes in the wrong place. And lastly, I vow to only golf on days that end with Y. <laughs> but I will always love you on those days that end with Y. In all seriousness, thank you for making me the luckiest man and allowing me to marry you. I love you. You're a great guy. You're a great son-in-law. I am so happy that you guys got together. the gospel of Jesus. I was sitting there thinking as you came into my office that 
What a gift it is that we have to see you two join together as husband and wife. Because there was a day nine years ago that I wasn't sure if we'd be standing here right now. We get to see you join together and to have life. And one of the things that I kept thinking about in my office was what a privilege it is for you, Ben, to be able to have this woman because she has been gifted to us in such a special way. And one of the things that I just heard about a few days ago that I didn't know prior was that it was reported that you were pronounced dead when you were not dead. And one of the things that I want to tell you about the gospel, which is so amazing, and your life is a picture of the gospel, is that even when we were dead, Jesus does something for us that we could never do for ourselves, and he brings us to life. And so like your whole, your whole life is a picture of the gospel. What people may have thought was dead was not dead because Jesus breathed life into your body. the greatest love story because our Heavenly Father portrayed that with mankind long before us. However, it is that love story that prepared my heart for yours. Our love began when we least expected it and serves as a reminder that God is the orchestrator of our lives. Love has brought us here today and as much as I love as I feel right now, I know that abiding love is not just an emotion or feeling. Love is a decision, and today we make the decision to choose one another from this day forward. So as we enter this covenant, I vow these things to you. I vow to be patient, kind, and obedient. <laughs> I vow to raise our children to be God-fearing, generous, and intelligent humans. I'll leave the athletics to you. I vow to act and serve our friendship in love, even in the absence of emotion. I vow to stand with you as a united front through every storm and in all of the rainbows that follow. I vow to be your biggest fan and support you as you continue to become the man God created you to be. Lastly, I vow to a binding promise of future love. Benjamin Hampton Collins, I love you and I vow these things to you until Christ returns or calls me home. So much more to believe in You are the reason
Don't let go. There ain't no love that's like a love. Take me home. I'm holding. 